Continuing in rotation one, Florida's Lindsey Miner just went on vault and got a 9-8. And so far, Florida's averaging around a 9-7 on this event. They need a big score here, which they got. And little leg separation on the pre-flight, but nice piked half. Miner, the 9-8. And now Penn State on the floor. Katie Rowland, 5'4", senior from Georgetown, Ontario, Canada. Coach Steve Shepard told me his team is pretty even across the board. All their events are, are equally strong. This is their top all-arounder. And a very good floor performer as well. twist Nice routine for Katie Rowland. Well, she was talking to herself before the final tumbling run. This was her middle tumbling run, a pike double back. She had to take a pretty large step back. Those will be the deductions. And some of the leaps and, and turns in the air could have been a little bit cleaner, but overall, nice performance. Katie Rowland gets a 9.875. And now Nebraska on bars. Here is Tiffany Bird, a junior from Orlando, Florida. Interesting story last year. She competed for Alabama and then transferred. Was a member of the 2002 National Championship team where she competed very well for them on bars and beam. And now here at Nebraska, she's training the all-around, going to maybe compete all four events. So a great opportunity for her. It's a very good event for her. Nice, dynamic swing, beautiful double layout. Whoops, had to check the landing a little bit. So Tiffany Bird's uh, first routine for the Nebraska Huskers. Her score, 9.85. Good for her. And now back to the beam, Georgia's Kinsey Rowe, a 5'5 sophomore from Houston, Texas. Miss State meets a year ago with a foot injury, but appears to be healed up now. She has had a difficult time with injuries. It was a torn ligament on top of her foot and really couldn't start training until November. Is doing extremely well, particularly on the balance beam. Two back hand swings to a layout. Perfect landing. They're easing her back into the lineup on the other events. She'll compete on the vault but possibly not do her regular vault. Trying to take it easy on all their gymnasts as they ease back from injuries, from surgeries. So they're gonna build throughout the season. Last year, she was the Super Six all-around champion, so she has tremendous all-around skill. They really need some big scores. Unfortunately, they had a fall Corey Fritzinger, normally a very consistent gymnast, one of their best all-arounders, had a fall and scored a 9-1-2-5. Of course, that's the score they would like to drop. Just yeah. emphasizes the point of team gymnastics. I mean, normally, as I said, they count on Corey Fritzinger for big scores all around. Now they've got to pick up the slack for her, and that's what teams do. Very nice job by Kinsey Rowe. Good job, we covered. Circle up. 
As you can see, the torque on this foot, doing a round of dismount, really have to punch hard there. So that's why they want, want to make sure that the foot is completely healed before they put, start putting that kind of stress on it. Kinsey Rowe gets a 9.85. And now we're set for bar specialist Julie Houck of Nebraska. She is outstanding. And all America, first team last year, are high a 9.95. Beautiful release combination. As Dan Kendig calls her the real deal in bars. Right into a double front with a half twist. Excellent job. A little hop on the landing, but the rest of the routine was by far the class of the meet so far in this competition. Really has a nice variety in this routine. Good level of difficulty, nice combination. With the exclamation mark of a double front half twist, that's an E dismount, so she'll get some bonus for that as well. Nebraska's Julie Houck puts up a 9-9. Nine, nine. So the standings after one rotation, you see them on the left. On the right, the average score per performance, so you can see how everyone is doing. We'll be back. <laughs> 